All right, welcome back. Many couples have control issues. That is, one of them might say their partner is controlling. Now, what exactly is the root cause of the issue, and what can couples do to prevent this from destroying their relationships? Here to guide us through those answers is our relationship coach, Daphna. Now, Daphna, you know, some people in a relationship say their partner might be too controlling. Is this the common issue that you see in your office? Yes, it's pretty common. Not as common as communication issues, but it's rather common. And what kind of other control-related complaints do you often hear? So the controlling person would be calling the other person constantly, where are you, what are you doing, why are you five minutes late, and they make a big issue out of nothing. Mm. And what makes people, I guess, complain or, or nag in this kind of way? You know, some people have been hurt in the past, mm -hmm. so they cannot move on. They cannot move on from that and say, okay, this is a new person. This is not the one who cheated on me. Uh, so they, they apply all this discipline and control measures to the new partner they are with. Mm. Or they may have seen a lot of it in their family. They grew up with a lot of pe people cheating. Or there is another reason, and that is they themselves have cheated. Mm. So they suspect everybody. You know, like the thief would suspect everybody of stealing. And a cheater would suspect other people of cheating. Right, right. And so what would you recommend for a couple that's kind of in the limbo of, of facing some controlling tendencies? The person who is being controlled or is being scrutinized so much should do their best to reassure their partner. Here okay. I am, I'm calling, I'm here, nothing happened. And they should not, they don't need to do it just in these circumstances, but in general, if the relationship is loving, if the relationship is affectionate mm -hmm. overall, then both partners would feel more reassured and safer, more secure. Right, because I was about to say, you know, I love playing devil's advocate here. Wouldn't you say that just lingering, controlling tendencies could kind of be toxic and maybe in cases like that, people should step away from a relationship like that? Absolutely, can be very toxic. I, I, we had one couple where uh, he would show up at her work. You know, it was to a point that she needed to uh, issue a restraining order wow. because it was affecting her job performance and she was really doing nothing wrong. And it was just, he would, he would neglect his own job just to spy on her and find out what she's doing. It, it, that's that's kind of sick, you know? Yes. You should run the other way if you're not deep into it yet. That is very scary. Hopefully none of the couples that are tuning in right now have ever had to deal with something like that. And let's, let's kind of, you know, go on the more positive note. Maybe the issue isn't that overwhelming and they really want to work on it. What, what should a couple do if they want to improve those controlling tendencies? Well, people should realize that control is not always bad. We have to control things in life. You control your car. You right. control your eating habits. You control your drinking. That's so true. control is a necessary part of life and it's not all bad. So that is a very, very important to realize. You have to control your job or you're going to lose it. Right. Right, there's a balance. There's a healthy balance that people need to find. And do you find that some people are also oversensitive to control? Yes, yes, absolutely. And those people have to remind themselves every time they get in the car, they are controlling the car. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, they will get into accidents. So they have to remind themselves that control is not always painful. Right. Well, you know, uh, we, a little bit of time here. What's your overall message to people uh, just in regards to control? Don't, don't micromanage your partner. Okay. Uh, you know, give them the freedom. And don't be too sensitive to control. If hmm. the control was well intentioned, right. it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, well, I love that because it's a happy medium for everybody and hopefully people can gain some perspective on this subject. I think it's really important to talk about. And Daphna, as usual, great, great to see you and we'll see you back here next time. Great. Thank, Thank you, you. Vanessa.